When adjusting the control box, PSI recommends the following procedures. First, connect an air pressure source capable of supplying at least 120 PSI to the trailer glad hand, and also connect an electrical source to the front of the trailer. Shut off the system by moving the system on-off valve to the closed position. Open the system maintenance valve to drain the pressure from the system. Remove the supply line from the outlet port and attach the test gauge. A calibrated test gauge should be used. The gauge must be connected to the outlet port because this isolates the control box and ensures that the setting is not influenced by any leaks downstream of the control box. The test gauge consists of a high quality gauge, fitting or tubing to attach to the control box, and a bleed off valve. Turn the system on off valve to the on position charging the system. Note the pressure on the gauge. The gauge should read 3 psi above the desired cold tire pressure setting. If the pressure setting is correct, proceed to the regulator function test. If the setting is incorrect, follow the adjustment procedures in the next steps. To adjust the regulator, unlock the regulator knob by pulling outwards until you feel a slight click. Turn the knob counterclockwise until the pressure on the gauge reads below 60 psi. Increase the pressure by turning the knob clockwise until the gauge has reached 3 psi above your desired cold tire pressure. Once the target pressure has been achieved, lock the knob by pushing it inwards. You should feel and hear a slight click. Please note that during the adjustment process, the gauge needle should react simultaneously to the regulator knob movement. And also, if you go beyond the desired target pressure, the pressure must be returned to below 60 psi, then increase slowly until the desired target pressure has been reached. Next, a regulator function test should be performed. Cycle the regulator by closing the on-off valve on the control box and opening the bleed-off valve on the gauge. Next, close the bleed-off valve on the gauge and open the on-off valve on the box in order to charge the system. During the cycling process, ensure that the gauge needle does not go past the target pressure setting or move sluggishly. Repeat a minimum of two times, ensuring that the gauge consistently returns to the target pressure. Once the target pressure setting has been achieved, the system can be reconnected. Turn the system on-off valve to the off position and drain the system by opening the bleed-off valve on the gauge and disconnect the test gauge. Reconnect the tube supplying the axles to the outlet port of the control box and turn the on-off valve on the control box back to the on position. Upon completion of adjusting the regulator, ensure that all tire pressures are reduced 5 to 10 psi below the target pressure. Allow the system to fill the tires to the target pressure. Place a new decal or make a note on the inside of the control lid, noting the pressure setting and the date of work. Close the control box lid and secure the lid screws. Following these steps will ensure that you have the proper output pressure of your control box. If you have any further questions, please contact your PSI representative.